What are the key security concepts non-technical people should know to keep their data safe? Okay, so I received this question on Quora and uh, you can follow me on Quora to, uh, if you're interested in uh, cybersecurity because I answer cybersecurity related questions there. So this question is not only addressed to non-technical people, but I would say it is like uh, applicable to the population at wide because most of us live a lot of our uh, physical time in uh, a non-physical world. So yeah, uh, and this also is not only for individuals but uh, for companies as well. So you can apply this uh, protocol that I'm going to talk about to companies as well if you run a company. Okay, so what I'm suggesting is something that I read in Mark Goodman's book, Future Crimes, which is a really good book, uh, talks a lot about, is a sobering book on cybersecurity. It's more likely, uh, more likely tailored to non-technical people. So uh, in the book, uh, Mark Goodman, which works with the FBI and the Interpol, International Police, I guess. Um, he suggests a protocol, and I'm reading from my laptop over here. Uh, it's suggesting a protocol called update. So update, each letter in the word update means something. So we're going to start with U in the update. And U means update itself. So basically... Whatever software uh, you're running, you should always keep an eye on the updates uh, that are being released for that uh, for that software, uh, because uh, there are security researchers, and not only uh, which are the good guys, but there are also bad guys who look for flaws in software all the time. And whenever they find flaws, now strictly speaking of security researchers, whenever a security researcher finds a flaw in a system, he actually talks with um, with the, the company uh, providing the software itself uh, and they actually work on uh, patching uh, the software and then releasing an update for that software. So you might, uh, you also, and you always want to check for the latest uh, uh, for the latest updates for your software and operating system and make sure you're applying them because that way you're safer from being like exploited or for from being like um, from having your software uh, being exploited by unintended parties or by like malicious entities okay now so this is for the U in update. The next letter is P. And P, uh, as you might um, already uh, suspect, comes from password. So this is like really simple. Uh, for passwords, you should always use like longer passwords, 50 to 20 characters long, uh, and have a combination of upper and lowercase uh, lower letters, as well as numbers and symbols. So, um, on top of that, I would suggest using a password manager. Uh, you could use the, the, uh, the password manager of your browser itself. Uh, I think Firefox and Chrome, both of them have a, like uh, on the device as well, as well as cloud password managing features. You can use those, but you can also use more like uh, more specialized uh, password managers. I believe one of them is uh, LastPass. Okay, uh, and if you could, I'd, I'd suggest to keep a file or something offline on a media that is not connected to the internet with uh, with uh, the passwords themselves that file also being password protected so adding more layer on uh, uh, this security layer right so up so update and then password and uh, the next letter is uh, d okay so d 
this might need, this might not be counterintuitive. So D comes from downloads. And this is like really simple and not, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, downloads. Make sure you download your software or whatever you're download, downloading from uh, legitimate and official sources only. Because this way you're like uh, safer for, for at least 80% of the time. Uh, there are situations like in case of uh, official sources being like... Uh, compromised but uh, I wouldn't say that's the norm that happens in some cases but whenever you're downloading something and you're downloading from official sources you're relatively safe okay and on top of that um, I don't think Mark Goodman talks about uh, like anti-malware but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that as well so to, to make, make sure that you're only downloading things and software and content only from official sources or from sources you like trust at least 90%. And to be on the safe side, you should also have a anti-virus, anti-malware solution. If, if one of those sources uh, is like compromised, uh, the anti-malware solution which is updated every day uh, should catch it and it, most of the times it catches it so do not click on suspicious links do not don't do not click on uh, flashy ads and on uh, whatever you don't know it's going to lead to okay so we have UPD now a a comes from, and this this is like this is something that not a lot of people know. A comes from administration, so use administrator accounts uh, sparingly, because if you're using an online, if you're using an administrator account, whether it's in your operating system, uh, administrator in Windows, uh, or the root account in Linux, uh, or in a software, in an online software. If someone gets into your system while you're working on it, so if someone gets into your system via the administrator account, it is much easier for them to uh, actually own your system and extract or extort uh, data and sensitive information from you than it is if uh, they would get in through a low privileged account, which is why you should uh, create low privileged users and set the permissions accordingly. So, uh, and this is on the premise of the least, uh, least privileges necessary. So, create users uh, with uh, the least privilege necessary. So, uh, don't give them uh, permission to do what they won't do. So, only set uh, specific permissions to what they're going to do on the system. And one example that I could talk about here is Amazon Web Services. They have a really good uh, system to actually set uh, permissions and create users with specific roles. And they start from the premise of the low privileged user. So make sure you uh, can uh, you look more into that if you're interested. All right, so that's for uh, A. So we have UPDA. Update. Uh, the next one is T. So uh, T comes from, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this one either. So T comes from uh, turning off your computer whenever you're not using it. So do not let it sit there and be a unwanted target or uh, in a random scan because if someone uh, like if a malicious entity runs an automated scan. Um, for different like uh, running services uh, they would catch you in their scan if you're online so that's one way that you could get compromised or if you have software or ports that you don't use turn them off because what's the point of them being there if you're not using them so yeah that's for uh, the T in the turn off and uh, this video is it's getting like long and I'm going to actually uh, speed up a little bit. Okay so we have the UPDAT so update D and the E 
The last E comes from encryption, so update. We have the full word. E comes from encryption, so you have a lot of ways to encrypt all your content, whether online and offline. So this means if you have like a Windows um, operating system, I believe they have uh, uh, some default mechanisms that you can turn on to uh, encrypt your content with TrueCrypt or I think it's TrueCrypt, encrypt your hard drives with, uh, with a sort of encryption algorithm. Uh, not only that, but if you have uh, like content on drives that are not online, you should have them, uh, first of all, you should have those media password protected and second of all, you should encrypt uh, the content on those media with some sort of encryption algorithm. And there are automated tools that do that for you. So it's not like a very big deal. Okay, so we have the full word update that's uh, suggested by Mark Goodman in uh, the book Future Crimes, which I highly recommend you read. It's a sobering book, but it's a really, really good book. And it's still representative of the times that we're living in, even though it's been written like uh, three or four years ago. Okay, so on top of that, what I want to add that uh, aside of all the suggestions that have been made through the update protocol, what I would do is to have backup copies of your most important content uh, both online and offline online it might not be the best way to have it but i don't know there are solutions like i think dropbox has a feature that um if someone i, I think it's uh, dropbox premium if someone gets uh like into your account and deletes all your files i believe they keep copies of your files for at least 30 days, I guess. So uh, if you manage to get back uh, the access to your account, you'll be able to restore uh, to restore those deleted files. But don't quote me on that. Do investigate it further. But I think that's, uh, that's, uh, that's one feature they have. Okay, so you should have copies both online uh, if you think that you'd be safe. I, for myself, I would say that uh, having backup copies online, is, it's a good strategy. And also you should have copies uh, offline in at least two locations or two different media. And like I said previously, you could have, uh, you could have something on a uh, storage device like a uh, external hard drive, which is encrypted and also password protected and maybe you should have a backup copy of that itself and keep it in a different location so yeah all in all uh, these are uh, some of the ways that not only non-technical people but also the population at wide and um, as well as companies can do to keep their uh, to keep their content safe uh, in the online world of today Okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap it all up. Uh, so uh, in conclusion, these uh, strategies that I've talked about should make you um, at least 80% safer in your online presence. There is no 100% uh, security, but uh, following these strategies, you should be safer. So uh, if you fellows have similar questions, make sure to leave them in the comment sections below and uh, I'll be more than glad to, to address them as time comes. So yeah, let's, let's uh, get the conversation flowing. Now with that said, this video is getting like really long. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.